Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. On the face of it, Tyson Fury and Dylan White can't agree how their fellow British heavyweight Anthony Joshua. Why did Tyson Fury fight Anthony Joshua after he beat Vladimir Klitschko? When Fury scored a huge upset win with a masterful performance against Klitschko in Dusseldorf in 2015, the prospect of a meeting with Joshua was already bubbling under nicely. The following month, Joshua claimed the best win of his 15 fight career, with a 7th round knockout of white in air Bernard Barner at O2 Arena, a content that both enhanced their reputations and highlighted the vulnerabilities of Britain's two best heavyweight prospects. Joshua's gradition from prospect to champion was swift when, just four months later, he stopped the overmatch at Charles Martin in two rounds to lift the IBF title. That was one of the belts Fury took from Klitschko, but the IBF stripped him off for agreeing to a rematch with the Ukrainian, great at upper side of facing their mandatory challenger, Vyacheslav Glaskov who suffered a near injury in their January 2016 fight, heralding a TKO win for Martin, and one of the shortest and most forgettable reigns in heavyweight history. Did Tyson Fury agree to fight Anthony Joshua? At the end of 2020, Joshua fulfilled his IBF mandatory, with an outer lazy win over Kubrat Pulev, before a limited crowd at Wembley Arena. That's clear the way for Fury vs. Joshua Showdown, and the boxers' camps agreed to a two-fight deal in March 2021, with the first of those penciled in 4 August. That remains as close as they have to come to sharing a ring competitively, because Wilder had an ace up his sleeve. In a May 2021 arbitration hearing, it was ruled Wilder was contractually entitled to a third fight with Fury. At the time, this placed an axe to nobody outside of Wilder's immediate media circle. Fury was seen to have conclusively settled the argument in their second fight, branding his foyer a joke for purportedly demanding 20 million to step aside and allow the Joshua fight. Joshua turned his anger in Fury's direction. The world now sees you for the fraud you are. You've let boxing down. You lied to the fans and led them on. Use my name for clout, not a fight. Bring me any championship fighter who can handle their business correctly said AJ. After the final installment of the Fury vs. Wild trilogy, 11 brutal rounds where both the men hit the canvas and the Britain emerged at victories, no one looked like a throat and no one felt a down. Out of completely shambles came a heavyweight contest for the ages. They boasted two weeks after Joshua had a misfortune of running into a championship fighter, who could handle his business very correctly indeed. Former undisputed cruiserweight champion Alexander Usyk, Miramisere outworked an unusually timely Joshua to take his three belts at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. AJ must now rematch Usyk, an entirely different animal, to Ruiz, who merely looked like he'd eaten several different animals before their second encounter. He would be a narrow underdog, going into the devilishly tough assignment, while Fury and White spent their Friday sharing jokes and dancing and their way in. At least some measure of the collective glee seems to steam from leaving their martial rival. The golden boy and market to be the master of such a cassation. On the outside looking in. On that much at least, they agree. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel.